everyone, I'm Sarah, and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish, fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Easter is almost here, so today I'm going to decorate Easter eggs. But first, I'm going to show you a dress that I refashioned. at Value Village thrift stores and then lengthened it using additional fabric that I bought from Value Village as well. The link to the video where I show you how to lengthen dresses is right here at the top of the screen. The band of fabric on this dress may look familiar to you as well because it's a remnant from a dress that I made, Vintage Simplicity 6260. The link to the video with that dress is right here at the top of the screen. To complete the look, I'm wearing Nine West high heels that I bought for a New Year's Eve party a few years ago. I bought the Liz Claiborne purse from Value Village thrift store and then repaired the handles. The link to the handbag handle repair video is right here at the top of the screen. The sheer tights are Hugh brand from the Hudson's Bay Company and the earrings and necklace came from the Salvation Army charity shop. Oh, and the hair clip is from Dollarama. Now onto the craft. This is my interpretation of an Easter craft from volume two of the McCall's Needlework and Craft Annual. This is a vintage craft with a modern twist. For all those thrifters and sewing collectors, I bought this 1951 McCall's and Needlework Craft Annual for $2 at Good Value Thrift Store in London, Ontario. While in the store, I found an additional two McCall's Needlework and Craft Annuals from 1950 and 1952, as well as 22 McCall's Needlework Craft Magazines from the 1950s through the 1970s. I found this craft on page 92 of the annual. There's no end to the color, sparkle, and variety of Christmas tree ornaments you can have once you start decorating eggshells with paper seals. The annual suggests using eggs for Christmas trees and Christmas wreaths, as well as Christmas table centerpieces, but I'm gonna use this idea for Easter. My decorated eggs will be placed in a crystal bowl for an Easter table centerpiece, as suggested on the next page. As a modernistic arrangement for your Easter table, try grouping the eggs in a large goblet or a clear glass bowl. The first thing I did was drain the eggs. I used large hen eggs, but you can use any eggs you want. Now, I didn't waste any eggs with this project. I used each egg before, but it took me weeks to collect them all about three dozen in total, but you don't need that many for this craft. Just enough to fill one of your pretty bowls or vases. These are the directions from the annual. Puncture eggs at each end with a darning needle. To blow easily, enlarge one hole gently with circular motion of needle. Drain well. I didn't really do that. Instead, I made both holes bigger than recommended and then shook the egg out of the shell into a bowl. After that, I ran the empty eggshell under warm water to remove any residue. After that, it was time to decorate the eggs. The annual's instructions are, to start your ideas rolling, decorate white or dyed eggs with designs of polka dots and legal seals, whole or cut as desired. This is a great idea, so I went online to amazon.ca to buy gold and silver paper seals and circle stickers. I looked for just over an hour, but I thought the seals were just too pricey, so I had a new idea. I have lots of stickers and printed masking tape for scrapbooking, so why not use what I already have to keep the cost low? I bought the Motivation stickers and the colorful masking tape from Dollarama, a Canadian dollar store. I enlisted the help of my fellow YouTuber, Engineer Corner, to decorate the eggs. We used the masking tape and stickers to create different patterns and designs on the eggs. Some eggs had stickers, some eggs had tape, and some eggs had both. We decorated all but two eggs, and I think they look really fun and cute. If you like how the stickers and masking tape look on your eggs, you can stop here and put your eggs in, the, in a bowl on display. But I'm taking this craft to the next level. Just a tip, save a couple of egg cartons to rest your eggs so that they don't roll away while you're working on them. Oops. 
I put all my eggs in a cardboard box big enough so that the eggs were in a single layer across the bottom and not stacked on top of each other. Some of the stickers were peeling off, so I rolled them between my hands to press the stickers back on. For a crisper spray paint line, the stickers should be fully pressed down onto the eggs. My next step was to spray paint the eggs gold. I'm using Rust-Oleum Glitter Gold Spray Paint that was advertised to have an intense shimmer finish, so I bought it at my local home hardware store. Read all the instructions before using this product and make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area when spraying. I started spray painting the eggs in a slow sweeping manner and then handed the can over to Engineer Corner to take over. He has the hold the nozzle down and continuously spray paint method. This spray paint wasn't quite what I thought it would be. It's not a typical gold spray paint, but rather a clear spray paint infused with gold glitter. Had I known this, I would have picked another type of spray paint because I didn't want any white eggshells showing through. But since I started with it, I thought I'd see it through to the end. I thought that maybe a second coat would fully cover the eggs. This paint produced a lot of little particles of glitter in the air, so I wore a mask so that I wouldn't breathe any of it in. Before I continue with this Easter craft, please share this video with your friends and family. I'd love to help others sew and upcycle on a budget and troubleshoot their favorite patterns. I also love sharing the treasures that I find at thrift shops. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and make sure that the bell is on so you receive a notification when I release a new video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Now back to the eggs. After the first coat of spray paint had dried, I flipped over the eggs so that the gold side was down and the unpainted side up. When doing this, I noticed that some of the stickers had come off the eggs and were littered all over the bottom of the box. It looked like the gold dust had pushed them off. It was so weird. Next it was time to spray paint the other side of the eggs. No, those aren't my arms. Engineer Corner stepped up and spray painted the other side. While painting, he mentioned that the can was running out of paint, so we would have to buy another one. I thought, oh no, this can hasn't fully covered the first side of the eggs, so they would need at least another coat of paint. So how many cans of this Rust-Oleum Glitter Gold spray paint would I need? I don't want this to be an expensive project, so I would need a change of plans. Da, da 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 Krylon Premium Original Chrome Spray Paint to the rescue. My dad was kind enough to give me this unused can of spray paint from his supply. He didn't need it anymore and he didn't want it to go to waste. Now this spray paint has excellent coverage. If I had started with the Krylon Chrome, the paint finish would have been very smooth. But since I started with the Rust-Oleum, which contains glitter pieces, the finish was not quite as smooth, but I was not discouraged. This project is starting to come together. I applied two coats on both sides of the eggs for fuller coverage and a smoother finish. And when I was done, I still had paint left over. I could use this for another project. Check out the shine on those eggs. Gorgeous! After the chrome spray paint had dried, I removed the masking tape and stickers. I really enjoyed this part of the craft, revealing the patterns, polka dots, and stripes. The paint lines weren't perfect, but I love how they turned out. No one will know that I didn't do this on purpose because they look really interesting. As I unrolled the tape and unstuck the stickers, I realized that there was a bit too much white left on the egg. Next time I do this project, I'll either use thinner masking tape or cut the masking tape in strips before applying it to the eggs. That way, there will be more paint and less white eggshell. I also thought that the eggs aren't quite Eastery enough. I wasn't worried though. I have lots of scrapbooking materials to pull this whole project together. 
I'm thinking ribbon, metallic tape, and rhinestones. Time to dress up the eggs. I'm using a sheet of rhinestone strips and decals that I bought at Dollarama for $1.25. The strips need to be cut to size, but the decals are peel and stick. I also bought the metallic aqua snakeskin tape from Dollarama, but I don't remember how much it was. I think it was around $2. I borrowed the purple gift ribbon as well as the four pack of Christmas gift ribbon from my mom. She originally bought them from Dollarama. I tied purple bows horizontally around some of the eggs and then added vertical strips of rhinestones. Then I used my scissors to curl the ribbon. I applied rhinestone decals on the front of other eggs and then wrapped the metallic aqua snakeskin tape around the egg, ending at the decal. Some of the eggs have aqua tape and a silver ribbon tied with a curl around them. Others just have purple ribbon curls. Since some of the eggs had polka dots from the spray paint, I didn't add anything extra because they were perfect as they were. I played around until I thought all the eggs looked pretty. Don't forget to decorate the bowl. I'm using a lead crystal bowl that I bought about 15 years ago from the Salvation Army charity shop. I wrapped four strands of purple ribbon around the bowl and tied it in a big bow and then I cut the ends of the bow so that I could curl the ribbon. Here is the finished project. decorating with me. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. And if you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe. And if you'd like to stay up to date with Budget Sew, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Thanks for watching. See you next time.